Hello guys again. So I am sure many of you have this uh, Generac 4000XL or 4000EXL and they come with the idle control which will actually lower the uh, uh, engine uh, RPMs when it's not in use, when nothing is uh, pulling the power out of the generator. And uh, there is a little problem with these sometimes when uh, when you turn on the idle control and it will lower the RPMs, it will lower it too much so the engine will die or it will lower it too much and the engine will still run but then when you engage uh, something, uh, when you turn on any, anything running on the generator it will actually kill the generator because the RPM is too low and in this one here it will just barely get back into the normal so I, I want to show you what I'm talking about and then I want to show you actually how to adjust it uh, to the proper RPM so it will kick uh, back in properly okay so let's get it started and I'll show you what is the problem on this one this one does not die completely but it will just barely go back into the uh, working mode so let's see put it on turn on the choke okay so now it's now it's in the low idle and it seems like it's a it's a proper proper low idle and it might be just like right on the edge okay It will just barely, barely kick back in. Let's do it again. So it took me a couple of minutes to figure this out, but uh, it's fairly straightforward, okay? I'm just gonna uh, just go over this thing right now without running the engine because it's very noisy. And uh, since I'm doing this, I can also show you how to adjust the RPMs, which I do have another video about that, but this screw right here, okay? This one here, just the nut, pretty much will adjust the RPMs and it also adjusts the voltage but uh, I, I would suggest to adjust the RPMs without the load to 61 Hz and then uh, adjust the voltage without the load to about 25 to 26 volts I mean I'm sorry 125 to 126 volts okay and that's this screw right here which is on this side of the generator okay now if you go around on this side we're gonna get uh, to this uh, all right I accidentally shut off the camera so we're gonna get to this screw right here which is uh, which is right here this one I gotta go a little bit lower yeah this one here okay that has the nut and uh, 
you pretty much uh, loosen up the knot and then with your hand you can just you can just adjust it but it's it's very sensitive so you can loosen up the knot and adjust the RPMs I guess you just have to use your you know use your hearing uh, to adjust it the proper way and uh, test it a few times with the load and when it feels right just leave it like that so you know all these springs in here that we get tired after a while and then they don't work as they're supposed to so now I'm gonna put it back on stand and I'm gonna show you exactly how it behaves okay and I'm not gonna go into the uh, adjusting the idle on the uh, regular on, on, on the regular idle speed which is the screw right here I mean adjusting the RPMs okay I'm gonna go straight into the adjusting the low idle RPMs because this is very much a straightforward um, thing so let me get it started right it doesn't hesitate when it when it uh, when you turn on some when you put on some load on it so just make sure the nut is tight so it doesn't change okay and then it's ready to go not much to it easy and simple if you know how to do it right so there you go